Hi everyone, my name's Foxy and welcome to episode 2 of Craft Away Season 2. Thank you for joining me, I hope you're all very well today. As you can see we are outside of the Hobbit Hall that we started in the last episode. There's nothing really changed about this at all and there's not really much going on outside. I did start a little bit of prep but there's nothing really to show you, it's just I've chopped some trees down. <laughs> basically. Um, I just want to show you around some of the progress and kind of show you what we're going to be doing with this base because this is going to be my, my main base as well as being part of the Hobbit Town and I'm hoping to focus on the base itself and also do some building in, in the sort of the village, what will be a Hobbit village hopefully in the future. Um, so we have a nice little welcome mat here that was literally just some leftover carpet that I made and just threw down there. And if we come in here, we have sort of the little entrance stairway. And as we turn around, this is the main hallway for the Hobbit base. And the aesthetic that I'm going for was kind of inspired by Bilbo Baggins House from the Lord of the Rings movies. It does look quite different. It is Minecraft and it is only inspired by it's not a direct copy by any means. Um, and the thing I noticed about that was it's there's a lot of white walls and of wooden supports, wooden arches, sort of rounded kind of rooms. So that's that's what I'm going for with this build. So as we come into the house, there is obviously a little kitchen area here, and this I think is because hobbits generally are quite sociable creatures, and they you know they like the food and they like I imagine they would like to have the friends around and sit and have some tea and some cake so I figured that was a, a good place to kind of just put a little bit of an area where there can be some cooking and, and a little bit of a chit chat going on <laughs> and then as we head down here this is sort of the main area that's going to branch off to the different parts of the house so these as you can see are still pretty much untouched uh, but eventually, I hope, they will look something like this. And this is the kind of aesthetic that I'm going for throughout the house. And if I follow this through up here, you can ignore that bit, I'll explain that in a moment. As we come up here, I, I just I love this. I've kept the, the original shape of the cave. This entire corridor was worked from the existing cave. And then we have some little doors that just go out into this mountain top. I figured if there's any farms that for whatever reason we can't make inside um, then we can bring them out here. There's, there's plenty of room to, to build up here also. But this this is the look that I'm going for and I'm absolutely living for it. I love it. I just I love how it's turned out. It's not grand and it's not mega fancy but it's got a homely feel and I just I, I really like it and especially as we get more branches coming off this I just feel like it's going to feel quite warm and homely and hopefully hobbity I am getting that that vibe from it myself so this area here um, that I told you to ignore this is going to be sort of one of the branch off rooms and I think it's going to be the storage because that's something that even though we have our central mass storage it's kind of a good thing to just come into your house and think oh I'm building something outside in the Hobbit village I'll go and grab something from the storage it's not going to be auto, store, uh, auto sorting it's not going to be any kind of fancy storage but that's where it's going to be basically and then down this way is going to be a little mine I've got a little signpost there and we're going to head this just down to sort of level 11 as you normally would and have a little bit of a strip mine there get some diamonds get some iron ores and things i mean we don't really need a lot of those things because we do have the central storage but again it's quite nice to have something of of my own as well to to get on with and then just this last branch down here um i think this is going to go off to the farms area somewhere along here there'll probably be another branch down maybe a, a little diagonal one just make it a bit fancy I'm going to try throwing some farms in, so all your standard cactus, sugarcane, um, animal things 
and uh, yeah we'll, we'll, we won't plan that too far ahead just yet we'll see how we go we have got a whole hobbit town to build as well so i am going to get on and i think i'm going to start building out this digging out this storage area so i will go and get on with that and i will be back with you shortly Hi everyone, so I'm back. I have finished building the storage in the Hobbit Hall. It is not a large storage because like I've said before, we don't really need it here because we have a central storage which is huge. And this is more of an aesthetic thing anyway, um, unless I do need a few supplies for the town. So as you can see, I've kept it sort of a similar look to the rest of the build. And it just has a few double chests. They're not even sorted. It's just absolutely full of junk. <laughs> but there should be enough here just to keep some dirt and stone and flowers and wheat and anything we might actually need whilst we build the rest of the Hobbit village. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I've put in a basic furnace here. It's not the most efficient by any means. It will do what I need it to do whilst I'm you know around the area and building and we've got a little bit of shulker box storage just out of the way there I'm, I'm, I'm really pleased with how this has turned out oh, we also have anvils and a stone cutter because I, I figured that those things will probably come in handy as well and so that's about it for the hobbit haul for this episode but i'm thinking we might just nip outside and have a look at step oh wow the weather is dreadful <laughs> We will have a look at starting some of the outside. Maybe I'll do the exterior of my house. So let me grab some resources and I'll be, I'll be right back and we'll, we'll, we'll do that before we go. Okay, everyone, I'm back. I have some resources and as you can see, the rain has cleared away, thankfully. So what I thought is, uh, just to finish up this episode, I've got some natural looking resources. I'm gonna sort out the pathway up to my hobbit hall house because it 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 doesn't really i mean you have to you have to jump to <laughs> to get to it so i thought we'll put some steps in mix the path up a little bit um so we've got some spruce slabs here which will make for fine steps we can just work our way around a little bit we'll probably put put one there as well and we need to make sure, what I always like to make sure with these is that you're not leaving any sort of one block high so that when you do actually come up to it oh, <laughs> she says when you do come up to it you've got kind of a clear path just to walk so if that, that might mean getting rid of a couple of these blocks like that um, and make it just so that whichever way you come from you've got a nice little walkway up there so that's that's pretty cool but what we can also do is if we just get rid of a few of these blocks a bit randomly just all the way up the path we'll get rid of those two and we'll keep some of the path blocks because they are nice but i also have some uh, cast dirt and i've got podsel but I'm, I, I kind of like keeping that for by trees like underneath because it looks like tree leaves so we'll see but it also see it also gives like a really nice kind of I think I think we need a little bit a little bit more variation here don't we uh, it, it does give a nice a nice bit of texture to a path and we'll just keep going up here like this and Maybe one there and one there, that'll do. Just makes it look a little bit more interesting, doesn't it? I think. Um, I feel like I might want to put another another coarse dirt in here, actually. Just make that a little bit wider. Yeah, that, that's fine. And we'll whoop, pop a path down there. Cool. So that's the path pretty much, pretty much done. Pretty much done. And we have some, let's see what else we have. So we have some really nice uh, red roses. That's that's pretty nice to go out the front door. I might actually get, if we just uh, 
grab another one of those real quickly. Let me just put one on each side because that, that looks pretty. Um, what else do we have? Let's have a look. I have got some berry bushes. I've got to be really careful with these though because I have a, a bit of a habit of using berry bushes for decoration and then forgetting about them and then ultimately sort of standing on them and ending up ending up hurt. We'll just we'll just pop a couple maybe a little bit more out of the way like that. Um so that I'm less likely to stand on them. <laughs> and we do have leaves. Uh we have an, an assortment of these, so we can just sort of maybe dot them about. Leaves, when in doubt, just, just plonk a load of leaves down. It usually makes any natural kind of build look, look a bit, a little bit more sort of overgrown. Um, we can bring those right down there. And maybe, we've only got three oak ones left. We'll, we'll put these coming down from this tree here, maybe. That'll do. We also have some dark oak leaves, which is fine because we have... Oh, not up there, not there. Um, a little key I find to placing leaves on things is just to try and keep them a bit diagonal and not have them in straight lines as much. We can also bring this around here, a bit like that, uh, maybe there, um, maybe, we'll, maybe we'll make that a little bit bigger and we can probably put some here. So yeah, just a, a, a nice sprinkling of, of different leaves. Usually, uh, usually does the trick. Oh, we've run out of those. We're just. Oh, I don't know if birch would look. Hmm. I tell you what, I'm gonna. I'm gonna get rid of those. I'm actually gonna use the birch because there are birch trees in the area, and I'm a bit of a fan of keeping the kind of coherent. Uh, you know, if if there's birch in the area, we'll we'll use the birch. We can we can always widen this out a little bit later as well. So we'll we'll leave that there. That's that's enough trees for now. Um what else do we have? We do have a I usually like to have a chest outside my house um as a post box. So I'm gonna do that. I I've, I've done that in my other builds on server. So I'll just put a little and put on there. Uh, oh, it's not let me type, give me a moment. Uh, crouch helps uh, Foxy's post box because uh, we call it post in the UK not mailbox <laughs> maybe we could pop a couple of lanterns at the bottom of this path um, do I want to put them on a on a bit of a like that maybe that looks kind of cool we'll have one attached to oh we could make I tell you what we could do Oh, if we bring this up into a bit of a lamp post, that would be kind of cool. Maybe, uh, maybe one higher, I think. Otherwise, you're going to bang your head on it when you. So maybe we can hang that like that. That's kind of cute, right? Uh, long grass. Excuse me. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. And then, so we've done the berry bushes. I think the last, the last thing. Oh, I'll have a nice. A nice lilac, and then I think after that it's just going to be a case of uh, a nice liberal sprinkling of bone meal, just to make it look a little bit more. We'll bring this right round here. We'll put some really tall grass over here because we're not we're not going to be walking there, are we? So it would be quite overgrown. Um, and some more over here. Bring this. Oh, we have some of these nice uh, peonies over here as well. Where can I put one of those? I think that would be quite nice. Oh, that's looking much better, isn't it? Let's just get a bit of a, a distance distance view. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm liking that. That's, that's, I think, enough. I don't think it needs any more than that. It's coming on not too bad for two episodes. I'm really pleased. So we now have a nice little walkway path up. And then we have our main living area. And then, oh, so I should say, that's more like a reception area, isn't it? It's for receiving guests. And we have our storage. I think that's that's not too bad for two episodes, not at all. <laughs> 
so thank you all again for joining me i'm really loving the support that i'm getting for this series and i appreciate it a lot and we've got some other cool things coming to the channel soon so if you haven't already uh, do subscribe and uh, hit the bell for notifications so that you know when there's new content released and i will see you all in the next video bye